All right. Let's give that another try, people. I want you to know, for the record, I started live at 5.30. Um, YouTube and the internet and uh, the World Wide Web uh, was not on the same page as me. I just spent, the, whatever time it is, the last, uh, let's see, 12 minutes um, <laughs> on live, bringing you guys the whole show, and then I got a message, you are not live. So uh, thank you for Taylor back at the office, giving me the heads up, letting me know that we were just LTB. But now, we are LTB Live. I'm Travis Moran. Guys, sorry for the delay. I say that every single month. Uh, for some reason, we try we try to fix one thing and it just doesn't happen. So uh, we are, it's, it's, uh, Jul it's, what is it, June 5th. 5.30, it's the fifth of the month, it's LTV Live, same time, and now my microphone is falling down, so excuse me, I'm going to quickly pull this back up, because now I am sweating. Look at this, guys. You guys can see behind the scenes, uh, my camera is taped to shirt, but because we were running around trying to do a bunch of problem solving at the last second, I am now sweating, and the tape is coming off. Yeah. <laughs> So, all right guys, what is going on? LTV Live, we're gonna be doing the same format as always. Uh, we're gonna be doing some giveaways. I know a lot of you guys are here for free stuff. I was checking out the chats going on and you guys were chanting free lures, free lures. It's uh, The show didn't start on time. Everyone should get everything free. We will be doing some giveaways, so some of you guys will actually be getting some free stuff. Um, we're gonna be talking about uh, some sneak peeks. You guys love sneak peeks. I went out and just filmed the videos, and we will now be uh, showing you guys one of my favorite lures I uh, went out and fished with that you guys will be getting soon because the boxes are on the way, in the mail right now, and the delivery truck's gonna be delivered at your house any day now. Um, also, new swag. You guys love your swag. We've got some show specials. Um, I'll be answering some questions later. To, uh, later on in the show, we'll be doing rapid fire. So if you guys have any questions for myself uh, about Lucky Tackle Box, whatever you want to ask, go ahead and ask them on the uh, on the comment section below or be ready when I ask you and I'll start reading them down and we're going to be going through them real quick. What else do we got going on? Um, We've got show specials. Are you guys ready for a show special? Let's throw up the first one. This one's actually going all month long. It's a free Livingston lure. Subscribe to any box. Yeah, and you will get a free Livingston lure as a bonus. Who doesn't like Livingston? The sound technology they have is fantastic. Lure deal is the promo code you use on there. And that's gonna be going on all month and uh, maybe a little longer. But uh, anyway, guys, jump on that if you want to sign up. Um, we're going to be doing some Father's Day stuff. So happy uh, Father's Day uh, coming up. And a reminder to you guys as well, Father's Day is coming up. Um, we'll have a show special that I'll be announcing in a little bit. Um, let's go to the news here. How about my boy, Jason Lambert, LTB Pro, the ledge hammer is what they call him. He put down one of the biggest wins of FLW history a couple weeks ago, and he was doing it in the Lucky Tackle Box boat. Here's some pictures I got of him, and if this doesn't sum up, winning over $100,000 right there. That's the, that's the game face. Big old trophy, giant paycheck. Guys, I dream about that. I would, if I ever want to check that big, I think it would be sitting in the driver, the passenger seat next to me with a seatbelt on and driving around town with me at all times. My boy Lambert got one and he did it looking good because he's rocking the Lucky Tackle Box boat. And, uh, you know, I know that a lot of, uh, he was able to get a lot of exposure after the tournament. He threw out a ton of Lucky Tackle Boxes to the crowds. It was a fun place to be. I was actually in Kentucky because uh, I'm the host of FLW Live along with uh, LTB Live. And I was out there uh, doing the live show. So I got to interview Jason each day after the tournament and he was just in the zone. He was so in the zone that he broke single day records for Kentucky Lake and he also uh, broke the century mark, had over a hundred pounds for four days in the tournament, joined about half a dozen other anglers. So that's a small elite group of anglers to be in. And then he had the biggest margin of victory ever of an FLW Tour uh, win. So he beat the rest of the competition by more than any uh, other angler has ever done. And Lambert has just had a dominating, dominating career on Kentucky Lake. His rookie season, he's only fished Kentucky Lake on, uh, as a touring pro three times. The first time on Kentucky Lake was his uh, rookie season. He finished second. He almost won it last day. He lost it. Uh, so 
runner up on Kentucky Lake his first go at it. Um, second time, won. He got the victory. And then the third latest time, he won by more than any human being has ever won. So congratulations to LTB Pro Jason Lambert. I'm sure we'll be having him on the show soon. You guys will be seeing a lot more from him. So anyway, now let's go to more news. How about the $1,000? You guys, we do a $1,000 um, giveaway on Instagram. You hashtag um, LTB1000 and you get $1,000, dude. Nothing's better than $1,000, right? So congratulations. Who was our winner? Let's throw him up. I know we got a picture of him. Dudes Fishing. All right, first of all, you win for a cool Instagram hashtag name, Dudes Fishing. That's, that's what it's all about. And you did it in a cute little way. You didn't spell dude correctly. You spelled it with two O's. I like it. Congratulations. You guys are $1,000 richer. And for anyone else trying to win uh, 1000 bucks, hashtag LTB1000 and do something creative. Show some cool pictures and they vote at the end of the month and somebody gets 1000 bucks. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What other news do we have? Let's keep it going. Oh, Florida. But before that, I think we have one other uh, news thing, actually, because I went to Florida. I want to talk about that. But we actually have um, LTB Media. If you guys read down at the bottom, LTB Media right there, we just opened up a new section of the website. So over the last three years, Lucky Tackle Box has created so much content. Uh, I, I know that that's what you guys like about Lucky Tackle Box is how much information there is that goes along with the products, which is, uh, it's articles, uh, the videos, the live shows, all of that stuff uh, is just meant to help you guys learn these lures and give you guys a better chance of going out and catching fish out on the water. So what we've done at Lucky Tackle Box is we've now go to the website, you'll see LTV media section, and that has all the content categorized out that you can search and you can search, you know, springtime, uh, uh, fall, deep crankbait fishing, any type of search you want to do, the content we have will come up and you will be able to hone in your skills, look back at different uh, articles and things and make sure you are always learning. LTB Media, check it out. You guys, something really excited about. My boy Andrew Shaddick has been working for about a year on this, putting it all together and making sure it's organized that you guys can search through it. So thank you, Andrew Shaddick, and let me know what you guys think of it. Next, the Sunshine State. I got to go out to Florida uh, a couple weeks ago with my boy cameraman Rob, and we went with a lot of the companies that we work with. So a lot of the companies that are in the box, Yozuri, uh, or other companies we work with like Navionics, um, they put together a media event and they have a lot of us come out there. So I get to go out there and really just have a great time. Here's some pictures. The way this event works, we're out there for four days. There's a huge nurse shark. You guys, I caught that with a rope. I didn't have a, uh, we didn't use, we were hand lining is what it's called. And, but it's basically just like your anchor rope. You tie a giant hook to it, toss it down there and you catch uh, G uh, Goliath grouper and big old nurse sharks. And there's giant tiger sharks swimming around the boat. It's absolute chaos. I've never experienced anything like that. Uh, Captain Marco was the guy on the left-hand side right there. He was the one that put us on those fish. Uh, but you guys, that was, so it was four days. So we did a different trip every day. So the first day I went uh, fishing for snakeheads. Then we went hand lining. Then the third day we went offshore fishing for mahi mahi. There we go. There's the there's the mahi mahi or dolphin now you can call them. Those are some of the best eating fish. That's one of my favorite fish to eat. Something I learned about that fish um, is they are the fastest growing fish on the planet. So they grow faster than any other fish. Uh, you know, you can catch ones, they, they start off tiny. They're only, you know, not even an inch long. And within a couple weeks, they're already, a, you know, 18 to 20 inches long. It's absolutely amazing. These guys are ferocious little eaters and they are fierce, fierce fighters. I got some more pictures, I think, here. And then Snook, the last day we went inshore, which is uh, for you guys to get the inshore box. This is all the tackle uh, for these kind of species going for Snook and his inshore uh, fish. So this was a double up that uh, my buddy uh, Ray had from Cuda Tackle and myself. He's actually, this is his backyard pretty much. And he took me out and we had a blast. So we're going to be releasing those videos. That's, that was Liquid Living that we were filming for. And we're going to be uh, posting some Liquid Living stuff on the Lucky Tackle Box YouTube page soon. So make sure you're keeping an eye out for that. Now, some other social media content we've had. I got to throw some shout outs. Um, I got some pictures. These were three of our Instagrammers that have been doing a really good job. Okay, so this name I had to actually figure out 
I can't see if that one's up. Yes, it is. Okay, I was going, I was like, oh, this, this guy Hardy, Hardy Time Me's Fishing? Hard Times Fishing. I like it. I finally got it after about 10 minutes of looking at this guy's name and being like, how am I going to say it? Um, next one is Woods Bass Fishing. Woods Bass Fishing. Make sure you guys uh, follow all these guys because they are really killing it right now. They've partnered up with Lucky Tackle Box, and so they've been uh, doing some LTB things as well. But then the last one, Chris King Outdoors. Chris King Outdoors uh, from up north. All three of these guys, make sure you follow them up. Uh, Hard Times Fishing, Woods Bass Fishing, and Chris King Outdoors. You guys, make sure you throw them all a little uh, follow on Instagram. I think you will enjoy. I think it'll liven up your feed a little bit. We do a sneak peek. But first, you guys, we're doing, uh, I want well, to, I, I said this on the original <laughs> cast, but uh, you guys weren't actually watching because we weren't live. But we are streaming to YouTube and Facebook. We're going to be asking some questions. We'll do some giveaways in a little bit. And if you're on YouTube, that's where we're going to be taking the winners from. But for you guys watching on Facebook, either head over to YouTube. But if you're going to continue watching on Facebook, we will be picking after the show two, uh, two people who shared this video. So if you're watching right now, hit the share and you're entered. At the end of the stream, we'll uh, go back. We'll pick two random people and we will contact you and you will win an LTB box. So sneak peek time. Guys, I just got back from my favorite place on the planet, Clear Lake. And I was throwing, filming the videos with Leo. You guys know my dog, Leo, that travels with me. He's my ultimate roll dog. Um, and so we were filming the videos, and one of the videos I had a lot of fun with was this Deep Creek Lures, the Super Razor Beetle. And it's uh, basically a little craw bait like that, okay? And what I did for this video is I paired it up with a jig. I went with a green pumpkin uh, jig, a flipping jig. So I went into uh, vertical structure is what I was looking for, from uh, dock pilings to any kind of trees, wood, uh, even tules, any kind of vertical structure that was going from the bottom of the water column to the top. That's what I was targeting and flipping this thing around, pulling it through and stuff. So here's some, uh, here's some quick little video clips to get you guys hyped up because this bait is on the way. If you are subscribed to Lucky Tackle Box, you'll be getting this thing pretty soon. So you can see that bait. You can see that nice little action. That's, so when I hop that bait down there, that's what it's doing. I love the little pincher sticking up like that. And that's why I give it tiny little hops. So you can see behind me that dock, that's the same thing I'm flipping to on this side. I would just pull up between these docks and flip the corners because I'd want that heavy shade. Now you can see Leo. My boy Leo, he's, uh, it was hot out there. It was like 95 degrees. I had to keep soaking him with water. And but you can see, so that's a little seawall I'm on right there. And you got the shade, you got the vertical structure, and, and you'll watch, I, I tangle up in some, uh, some roots down there. So I shake it free and I let it fall back down and that's when I got bit. But this was a blast. This time of the year, you guys, this is a great technique. These fish are up shallow but you've got to figure out the high percentage areas they're at. And uh, fishing in the hot sun can be, uh, you can, it can be really slow if you don't know what you're doing. But if you hone into these things like the vertical cover, you know where the shade lines are, you know how to fish the shade lines. So you can see I've casted all the way to that pocket way back there, that little shade pocket, and that fish got it, started swimming out with it, and that's when I set the hook. And then I moved into, uh, into some woods. So this was all around docks, the shade and docks. Then I moved back into these creeks where there was a bunch of wood and a bunch of shade. And it was just, you just slowly pull this jig through. You're just, you want to feel the limbs and stuff and it can be absolutely fantastic. So you guys, that is the Super Razor Beetle. You guys are going to have a lot of fun with it. I threw it on the jig. I look forward to seeing if you guys catch me on the jig as well and look forward to seeing how you guys want to rig it up and how you guys fish it. So keep me in the loop on that. Hit the subscribe button, people. If you guys are watching right now on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up. We're finally live. If you're happy that we got live, because a lot goes into us getting live, you guys. Every month, it is... It is an uphill battle, and when you guys hit that thumbs up button, you let us know that you're liking it, that reinforces what we're doing and makes us excited about doing it every month. And also hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of cool content. Speaking of cool contents, LTB how-to videos. Guys, a lot of you guys already know this, but we make how-to videos. And you just saw a portion of that, uh, of me fishing, catching those fish. That's what I was filming for is the how-to videos. 
in your box, when you open up that box and you get all these brand new lures, we make videos showing you how we use them, giving you basically a baseline of how to go out and use them yourself. You don't have to use them exactly like that, but I know that the best way I learn in fishing new techniques is when I see other people using them. When I go out with somebody, I watch a video of somebody else doing it, I go, okay, I see how they're doing it. Um, my lake is a little bit different, or where I fish, or how I fish is a little bit different, but I, I know that I can change this and that, and I'll be able to do, I'll, I think I'll be able to have success on my own body of water. And that's what these videos are all about, is giving you a starting point. It's so frustrating getting a lure and not, not knowing anything about it and that's so just giving you lures is half the step. You guys watching those how-to videos, that is the second part that hopefully gets you guys keyed in. Father's Day. Father's Day, guys. Reminder, okay? Put this in your calendar right now. Write it on your hand. Father's Day is coming up. It's June 17th. You need a gift? Your dad called me, guys. I'm serious. Your dad called me. He does not want socks and underwear again this year. He, he, he got them last year and, and a couple years before that and a, a lot of times. So he doesn't want socks and underwear. He wants an LTB subscription. So we're going to be doing a show special. Pop up that show special promo code right now. We, we had it ready to go. All right. 15% off. So that means you go up, you, uh, you go to it and you sign up using dad15. You got to go to the gift portion. You go to... Uh, gift on the lucky tackle box.com and you put in the promo code dad 15 and that'll give you 15 percent off uh any of the subscriptions so that you can have something ready for your dad for father's day and keep in mind that boxes ship out um, uh within a week pretty much immediately but within a week of you ordering uh Previously, for the last few years, it's always been the following month is when the box finally ships out. But we've now been able to make some adjustments and we're really excited about this. It ships within a week, usually a lot earlier than that, but it ships within a week for, your, uh, for yourself or for your father or for whatever subscriber you just ordered it for. So that's something that is uh, big news and we are excited to announce. How about the LTB tournament, guys? I'm going to give you tournament details here in just a second, but I've got a video that uh, is going to talk about the winners from Heath. So we will cue that up right now. What's going on, Lucky Tackle Box? Thank you guys for tuning in to this segment about last month's tournament recap. Thank you for participating. We had a lot of participation. It was very enjoyable to watch and to judge. So before we get into this tournament coming up, I want to give two congratulations. As you guys know, we split up our tournament into two different regions the Florida, Texas, California region, and the all other states region. So, a big congratulations to Michael Hutchinson. He's out of Georgia. He finished with 109.75 inches. That's a lot of inches, second place and third place. Y'all weren't too far behind him, so make sure you guys come after him and come after first place this tournament coming up. His biggest bass was 24 and a taking the all other states region in May's tournament. Second big congratulations to Matthew out of Florida, 116 and a half inches. That was his total amount of inches with the biggest bass coming in at 25 and a half inches. Congratulations. All right guys, you know how this works. Signups are starting now and the tournament starts on the 15th until the end of the month. You guys have five spots. You got five spots to turn in the five biggest bass that you possibly can for your region, all right? If you're out there fishing and you catch a bass that's bigger than your smallest bass on the board, go ahead, take a picture on that measuring board and turn it in. We'll take care of the rest. You can keep culling and replacing fish until the last day of the tournament. So don't worry. Turn that fish in, all right? Um, guys, a quick tip for you. Please make sure, I can't stress this enough, make sure the mouth on your bass is 100% closed okay the bass will close its mouth when it calms down just make sure it's closed and take that picture okay here's why you can actually gain a little bit of length on your bass if the mouth is open believe it or not you can so you will have a half inch deducted from the total length of that fish if the mouth is even slightly open also make sure your fish is being measured from left to right with the mouth touching the bump board with the dorsal fin up I get a lot of questions as a tournament director asking why does that even matter? Why can't I just flip the fish around or turn it upside down on my measuring device? Here's why. 
we try to make sure that this tournament is a very, very fair and fun tournament for everybody. I don't know if you know this, but sometimes what you can do if you want to cheat and get you know banned from tournaments forever, is you can actually take a picture of a fish and then flip it upside down and take another picture and submit it two times because sometimes this, the other side of the fish doesn't always look the same. So we require that you take a picture of the fish left to right with the mouth touching the beginning of the bump board or at zero inches with the dorsal fin up, okay? That way we can just verify that all the fish are different and no funny business is happening. So thank you guys for watching this segment about our tournament, the recap, and sign-ups. I hope you'll sign up. I hope you'll call a friend and challenge him off to a fish off. I hope you guys have fun and stay safe on the water. See you later. Guys, congratulations to the winners. And uh, for all of you guys right now that are looking at it like, wait a minute, there's an LTV tournament? Yes, and anyone can enter. And we just made a giant adjustment. I was watching the comments. People were stoked about this big adjustment. We split up into two regions. So now there is California, Texas, and Florida are all in one region. And then the rest of the country is in another region on its own. And the reason being is some of those lakes, there's a lot, uh, there's a lot, more access to giant fish in some of those bigger states. They, uh, so we've kind of put them in their own division and then the rest of the country is in the other division. So that's uh, even this playing field up a little bit for you guys. I know you guys have been really excited about that. But if you want to enter, all you got to do is go over to uh, LuckyTackleBox.com and you'll see the tournament tab. Just fill out all the details. You'll download an app on your phone and it's real simple. Then you go fishing and start documenting your fish. So guys, I'm going to, I'm going to, take place in the tournament this month. I'm really excited on June 15th, I'm gonna do an Instagram takeover for Lucky Tackle Box. And I'm gonna go out to my local lake here. I'm gonna be using baits from the box and uh, I'm gonna enter the tournament. And we'll do something special for whoever finishes right, uh, right above me and maybe whoever finishes right below me. So we'll look at the standings and I'll figure out where I, where I end up. If I'm not on the top, if there's people below, above and below me, we'll pick some winners and we'll do something fun. But also make sure you guys follow along on Instagram. I'll be uh, you know, documenting the whole thing, having some good times. But what I suggest for you guys that are uh, new to it, have never fished the uh, tournament, um, Sign up, get everything taken care of, and then go out and don't try to win the thing. Don't try to catch all these giant fish. Just go out and try to catch your limit. Try to catch as many fish as you can, and you'll slowly upgrade because you can keep putting bigger and bigger, entering bigger and bigger fish. You don't have to enter the first few fish you catch. You just keep entering, and when you get bigger ones, it swaps that out. So don't get uh, caught up in trying to just go right out of the gates catching the big ones. You got, uh, you have 15 days from the 15th to the 30th to make it happen. So uh, go out there and have fun with it. And also we pick a lot of random winners too. So we pick the top winners, but then we also go down the list and randomly pick uh, a bunch of people that entered in the event as well. So no matter what you catch, if you enter, you have a chance to win. So guys, that's been something that's been a lot of fun. Um, thank you, Heath, for bringing us the winners. And uh, I can't wait to try it out myself this month. What's up next? Oh, you know what? I'm looking at the comments. So suggestions, LTB socks. All right, guys, uh, this is why we have this. This is why we have this forum here. We have this group think. I'm going to be throwing this up the ladder at the next meeting. And I, I would like to see some LTB socks. You know, those would be uh, this would be nice, dude. I would rock some LTV socks for sure. Also, uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot the name of whoever asked this, but yes, you have to weigh in bass, okay? Whoever you guys are trying to weigh in, catfish, all the other things, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Maybe we'll have those tournaments down the road, but right now, this is the LTV bass tournament. So, um, thank you for asking that so we could clarify that up for you. LTB social. No, actually, giveaway. We're on giveaways. It's time for our first giveaway. You guys know how this goes. The office is ready to pick a winner. We're going to be on YouTube. I'm going to ask a question. Um, and then we will, uh, the office will pick three random correct answers. We no longer go with the first right answer because it just comes down to somebody having the fastest internet connection and the same people were winning over and over again. So we want to give a little bit more of a fair advantage to everyone. So we'll randomly select three. Here is the question right now, guys. And we touched up on this a little bit earlier in the show. Jason Lambert just broke the five fish record for a tour event on Kentucky Lake. 
What was his weight for that day, and whose record did he beat? So Jason Lambert just broke the five fish record for a tour event on Kentucky Lake. What was his high? What was his weight for that day, and whose record did he beat? Let's throw up another show special as we're waiting on these. What else do we got? We got a lot of fun little show specials. You guys tune in, you get access to things like this. Subscribe to any multi-month subscription and get $25 gift card to the LTV shop. Okay, guys, that means if you, say, sign up for the Bass XL box, a three-month subscription, you will get a $25 gift card to the LTV shop. That's a great little deal. Just use the code LIVE25. LIVE25, and you get $25. I'm going to look at these comments. Let's see if any of you guys are actually giving the right answers here. Well, the office is filling these out. It's a two-part answer. Remember, guys, I'm looking for two answers. What was, what was the record weight? A lot, I've seen a lot of four days. This is the, you guys are putting four days total. It was what was the single day, a five-fish limit. He had a five-fish limit one of the days that broke the all-time five-fish limit record on Kentucky Lake uh, for one day. It's a one-bag limit. So what was that limit that he ha uh, had, and whose record did he break? Looking for two answers. Scott Martin. Everybody's saying Scott Martin. You guys, Scott Martin did not win the tournament. <laughs> Scott Martin took second place in Kentucky behind no, Jason Lambert. The thing is the full weight. The thing is one of them. Yep, but Scott Martin did not have 109 pounds. I love these answers. This is hilarious. There we go. Now I'm seeing some people. This was a tough question. My brother Parker came up with this, came up with this question, and uh, it seems to have stumped you guys. So let's see if anyone does any research here. The office is going to keep an eye on that, and we are going to revisit that because I'm going to give them a second to write the winners here. Let's go over to LTV Social real quick. Okay, guys, LTV, we have a lot of platforms, and we try to run them very different. Um, the reason being is um, if you just if you subscribe to one like Facebook, um, that doesn't mean you know uh, you, that there's different content on all the pages. So it's it is an advantage to you. You will get a lot more out of it if you subscribe to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. We have all our different platforms and we try to do different things for each one of those. So there's, so you have a different experience at all those. Um, I, I said that I'm going to be doing a takeover on June 15th. Jason Lambert, who we just asked the question on, he did a uh, takeover a couple months ago brought you behind the scenes. When he's on the road, he lives in a camper on the back of his truck. He gave you guys some walkthroughs on that. He took you into pre-fishing, showed you what he does for pre-fishing and stuff. So that was a really cool takeover. We do fun stuff on all those platforms. So make sure you're not only subscribed to YouTube, which you're watching on right now, but you're subscribed to Facebook, Instagram, all the good stuff. The, the Snapchat, the Twitter, the good stuff. Let's see if we have some winners. Oh, we have some winners coming up. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the answer, and then I'm going to read off the winners, and you guys will all win I didn't even say what you win. You guys are all going to win a Lucky Tackle Box. Every one of you guys wins a Lucky Tackle Box of your choosing. So, Jason Lambert broke the all-time limit record at Kentucky Lake for one day with 30 pounds, 8 ounces. So he weighed in 30 pounds, 8 ounces, which was the biggest five fish limit ever weighed in in an FLW tour event on Kentucky Lake. And he broke the record, the previous record that he owned. So he broke his own record with that weight. So the answer was 30 pounds, 8 ounces and Lambert. He broke it from Lambert. So here we go. I've got your winners. Jose V, Jose V, you are a winner. Glenn McFarland, Glenn McFarland, congratulations, you won as well. And BB Raderis, BB Raderis, all three of you guys won. Contacts, this is where you're going to need to get this prize. 
email prizes at luckytacklebox.com and let them know your information. Let them know your, make sure you uh, put your handle on here, your YouTube handle, so we can confirm that you were the winner and you will get your Lucky Tackle Box, some more gear. Everybody loves more free tackle. Okay, it's question time. It's time to do rapid fire. Let's answer some random questions. So I'm gonna go over to YouTube right now and we're gonna start scrolling through and I'm gonna answer some of your questions. Right now it just says 30 pounds, 30 pounds, Lambert, 30 pounds, Lambert. You don't get credit after I say the answer. You can't just say, you can't comment in and hopefully win. Or maybe you can, I don't know. I, if, <laughs> we'll see, maybe you will win something and prove me wrong. All right, great job. What's the question mark? All right, guys, these are not very good rapid, ra rapid questions. They want to make underwear. Underwear. I will rock some underwear. Um, if we start making Lucky Tackle Box underwear, I have some suggestions on Lucky Tackle Box underwear. If we start making that, I will start wearing underwear, okay? That's a promise, okay? I've been waiting. You know, I've just never, I've never found the right uh, briefs to go with. But if we start making some LTV uh, underwear, whatever it is, whatever color, whatever style, I'll be rocking those things for sure. Those will be my Lucky Fishing underwear. And then maybe I'll raffle them off every LTV Live uh, as well for you guys to have. Or not. Um, any of you guys that placed in previous tournaments, you contact uh, uh, support at luckytacklebox.com. So email support at luckytacklebox.com if you have questions about uh, tournaments that you've uh, placed in or winnings, whatever it is, um, contact them and you will get some quick answers. What reel do you recommend and what's your personal best? Um, reels, the reels I really like right now are Cast King reels. You guys, these are, uh, I haven't been able to use them uh, for a long time. I just started using them about three or four months ago, but um, they're the, the price is what's fantastic. They so far have held up great, and the price point is amazing. So if you guys are looking to get new reels, check out Cast King, and you'll see that their price point is, it, it just blows away any other uh, the competitors right now. So go check them out. And if you watch the videos, you'll see me talking about those as well. Um, I got, is Austin, Texas a good fishing spot? Yes, yes. It's Lake Austin, or is it Town Lake? Or is it, both, it's called both those things. Middle of Austin Lake. My buddy actually is moving out there pretty soon. I can't wait to start fishing there. It's a great fishery. Tyler's Real Fishing uh, fishes it all the time, loves it. What's my biggest uh, fish? 11 and a half pounder on a spook in February. So a little topwater walking bait uh, in February, actually when it was raining, and I caught 11 half pounder. It was fantastic. Still my record. Not the biggest fish in my family, unfortunately. Shortly after that, my other little brother caught, I think, a 12 and a half pounder. I gotta get. I gotta find out what it was because I gotta make sure I beat that. But uh, yeah, he spoiled. He took the record back. What lure would you use up fishing up a dock? What lure would I use? Who who asked? What lure would I use to fishing off the dock? Um, great question. It almost seems like uh, you were placed in there to ask that question because I also, when I was at Clear Lake uh, last week, I filmed a how-to video from the shore. So uh, one of the baits that's coming from Big Bite Baits that's coming in the box is a great bait to throw from the shore. It's like a little, uh, it's a little creature bait and you could rig it up Texas rig, drop shot. I showed how to do it both ways. And uh, it's a perfect bait because you can rig it weedless and you can fish the wide variety of stuff from fishing from that dock. But really you can fish a lot of lures from the dock. You can fish pretty much most stuff from, from uh, the docks depending on what the uh, situation is there. But how-to video will be coming out within the next week or two. What, what lake are you gonna be fishing at for the LTB tournament? What lake for the LTB tournament? Pinto Lake. There's a nice little lake uh, that's just about 45 minutes up the road here um, from where I live in Monterey, California. And uh, it's, it's the perfect little lake for this, this little tournament because I can get up there, I can go fish half a day, and, uh, and I get service, so I'll be able to do some live stuff. It's going to be a fun time. It's uh, one of my favorite little lakes around here. Are Whopper Poppers the best lure of all time? 
Are Whopper Ploppers the best lure of all time? Who, who are these questions that are asking us right now? Okay, guys, I have a funny story about the Whopper Plopper. Whopper Plopper is by River to Sea. It's a topwater lure. Um, my brothers and I started a media company years and years ago, and we got our first job after, I don't know, maybe a year of trying and doing all kinds of free videos for everybody. Somebody finally was ready to pay us, and it was River to Sea. So they flew us out to meet with Ishman Rowe out in Florida, and we filmed the Ishman Rowe with a Big Papa, which was a square bill crankbait, and the um, spinnerbait, the bling spinnerbait. And so we went out there, and right at the right before we left, they said, "Oh yeah, by the way, there's one other lure we're going to send out there. Um, don't worry about doing too much. We just want some footage and stuff. Do something real quick with this one other lure we sent." So we uh, so we grab it. We don't even look at it. We get out there, and lo and behold, it's a thing called the Whopper Plopper. And this is probably about seven years ago, and we th so Ish ties it on, throws it out there. And my brother and I start laughing. We go, that's the stupidest thing we have ever seen in our entire lives. And we filmed it. We got some great footage. And lo and behold, a couple of fish bit it. We're like, oh, man, those are the dumbest fish in the lake. So fast forward about three years later, it was one of the most popular lures uh, of its time. And you couldn't buy them anywhere. They were sold out everywhere. And lo I could have been using them for years and years. And I just thought it looked ridiculous. It sounded ridiculous. And... I guess that's why I'm not a fish, because uh, I would have known that that sounds fantastic to fish and they go crazy over it. So, Whopper Flopper, great lure, and uh, I totally missed the boat on that one, huh? I get it, boat, fishing, huh? All right, what else we got? We'll go, we'll go one more question. Oh, and Nick, I saw Informative Fisherman. He, uh, he's on the chat room right there. Big shout out to my boy, If. Um, you guys, he's one of the other ones that does the how-to videos. I think he's going to be posting some videos pretty soon here. So check him out also on his channel, Informative Fisherman. I don't know if he's gone. He might have just popped in to say hello real quick. Oh, that's actually a good question. Are frogs imitating frogs? Um, no. Okay. Uh, bass will eat everything. So even if they've never seen something before, if, they, if an animal with a little alien creature lands in a lake and starts swimming across the lake, if a bass can get it in his mouth, he will eat it. He doesn't care what it is. So um, when, it comes to frog, when it comes to frog fishing, yes, if there's a lot of frogs in the area, that will actually make the bass more uh, alert to the surface because there's times when fish are you know they're high in the water column or they're fishing down if there's a bunch of crawdads those fish are going to be looking down they're going to be searching down but if you have a lot of frogs in a pond those fish are going to be used to getting good easy meals up top so that will make them more likely to hit top water but when you throw out a frog even if there's not a single frog in the entire lake you can still smoke the bass on a frog because it's just bass will eat whatever and if you can make it look like something that that they're into you can get them to uh, to bite and especially if they're orienting towards the surface uh, that can also be if bait is near the surface it, there's a lot of reasons bass start orienting themselves towards the surface and that's when a frog or any kind of walking bait uh, any kind of topwater bait will work out well step into a slim jim somebody caught a bass with a slim jim the texas rig congratulations to that guy <laughs> Now you're, uh, you're going to give that, uh, that bass diabetes or whatever you get. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that stuff, and now you're feeding it to bass, dude. Don't, don't hurt the bass like that. All right, let's get back on to some questions here. That, was, that concludes rapid fire for our June LTB Live. Oh, let's check back in with my boy Heath. Fighting Heath. All right, guys. Heath lives... Heath and I, I think, are like, uh, we're fellow gypsy brethren, I guess. Um, but Heath lives in a trailer. He packed up his family, packed up his wife and his two kids, and he jumped in a trailer, and they are touring the country. And he's uh, running his kayaking circuit, as well as doing a bunch of social media things, and just basically fishing all over the country. So once a month, we check in with Heath and see what he's up to in our segment that we call Where in the World is Heath? What's going on Lucky Tackle Box family? Thanks for watching this segment on Where in the World is Heath. Currently, my family and I are in California. We've been hanging out a lot in San Diego, LA, but doing most of our fishing in La Jolla. All right, so the number one fish on my hit list right now is the yellowtail. Uh, went out a few times, not the best weather, not the best luck, I haven't got one yet, but I'm doing everything I can to try and get, I didn't come all this way to California to not get a yellowtail. 
So, I'm teaming up with Charlie from Fish Village to try and get one, and I'm also going out with the man himself, Yellowtail legend here in California, Kevin Nakata from Hobie. And hopefully I can definitely get one uh, with him. So, let's talk about gear real quick. Uh, I take three rods out on the kayak uh, when I'm fishing for Yellowtail. The first rod I take is just a medium, regular spinning rod. It has my sabiki on there, so we can uh, catch some bait. The second rod I take is this standard spinning reel combo. Uh, this is a 100 spinning reel. This is uh, made by Penn. So I've got 80 pound braid loaded on here with about six feet, I'd say, of, uh, this is 40 pound leader. So what I do with this rod is I troll or cast at a school of yellowtail if I see them explode on the surface. And what I'm casting is a Yozuri. This is a hard bait. This is a uh, subsurface lure. It goes about ah, four, four to five inches below the surface. I just chuck it there, and if they blow up, hopefully they'll bite onto this. If not, I'm usually just trolling this. The, the third rod I keep on board is a conventional style uh, rod and reel. So this is also a Rampage, uh, just a standard pen offshore uh, rod. And this is an old school truth uh, release reel. SG model, conventional, same thing. 80 pound braid, 40 pound leader, and I've got a number two or a number three hook on there. Uh, I'm using the mustads that are found in my saltwater lucky tackle box. Um, this is a specifically a beak bait hook by mustad number three. And that's what's on here right now. So what you do is you get your bait, you uh, get your mackerel, whatever you sabiki up, pinch them right through the nose, and you troll that sucker and hopefully a yellowtail grabs it. So that's kind of my rod and reel and bait setup. Um, let me know what you guys use. If you've ever targeted yellowtail, California, Puerto Rico, wherever you're, wherever you're fishing for them, let me know what you used. How'd you catch them? What kind of gear did you use? What kind of braid did you use? I get a lot of questions. Um, why are you using such heavy braid on some of these uh, these uh, reels? And the answer is this. Fishing for yellowtail, you're usually fishing around kelp beds, and that's some really nasty and some really thick stuff. If a fish swims in there, you want to get something that can slice right through that stuff. So, do you necessarily need 80 pound braid paired with 40 pound leader? You don't really need 80 pound braid, but if you're around those kelp beds, you definitely want something thick that can slice right through that kelp. So anyways guys, thank you so much for following my adventures around the world, traveling with my family and our Lucky Tackle Box Yak Tribe RV. And guys, I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Guys, Heath is having the time of his life. He's made it all the way out west to Southern California, as you guys can see. Hopefully he catches a yellowfin. And you know what? Uh, hopefully he gives me a call because I also live in California and he's all the, he lives out in Florida. So he's all the way out here. He better hit up his boy, Travis. Um, and, you know, like I said, he's living the lifestyle I want to live because I also have a motorhome that you guys have seen and I take out to go to all the uh, filming and do all the adventures in and it breaks down every single time that I take a trip. So uh, if I go out for five days, usually the first day and the last day are me broke down the side of the road trying to duct tape <laughs> some parts back together and limp back home. So one of these days I'm going to buy a newer motorhome and have something more reliable like Heath does. Until then. Keith, come pick me up, man. Let's go do some fishing. Maybe you can come do the LTV tournament with me at Pinto Lake if you're lucky. Um, anyway, guys, I'm watching the comments, you guys. Thanks for joining in on the comments today. I'm, I'm laughing. There's a lot of stuff I haven't read, um, but uh, we always like when you guys participate. Love seeing the, uh, the family atmosphere and everything. But uh, let's talk about the LTV store. Swag! Who, who does like swag? Swag? Swag. Swag. Gotta have swag. So we got some cool stuff. Hats. You guys... Uh, if you go to LuckyTackleBox.com, you can check out our cool shirts. Because, guys, the saying goes, if you look good, you fish good. Duh, duh. So get yourself some shirts. I mean, dude, they keep designing cooler and cooler shirts. Every single time I go to the website, I get to see cooler stuff. And they send it to me for free. So it's fantastic. So I get to really always look good. It's one of the perks of getting to make these videos. Buffs, dude, look at all this stuff. Tons and tons of stuff. Head over to LuckyTackleBox.com, go to the store, pick out some clothing, and guess what? Use this promo code, a show special promo code, take 35% off all fishing accessories in the LTV shop. 35% off. 
Use ACC35 code. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You look good. You fish good. Don't forget about that. Let's do a final giveaway. Final giveaway. I like this question. My brother's going to like this question, too. He didn't see me. I asked my brother to come up with two questions for this show. And after 30 minutes, I finally took the computer away from him. I was like, all right, I got I to gotta make up some questions because you are just burning through time. Maybe that's why we had a late start to LTB Live. I don't know. I can't point any fingers. But he is here working for free. I dragged him in here. So I, you get what you pay for, I guess. Okay. Here's the question we're going with. This is for a Lucky Tackle Box of your choosing. Any Lucky Tackle Box you want, you got it. We're picking three winners. Three right answers, random right answers, okay? My two younger brothers, Spencer and Parker, the one that's in the uh, office with me today, started the bass fishing team at what college? What college bass team did they start? I'll give you a hint. It's in California. It's out west. And they're still my favorite bass team. What do you guys got? What do you think? While we're waiting, let's see a picture of a fish. I found this, I was scrolling through the vast pictures on social media today, and I came across this one. Dude, give me a break. This is hilarious. This, this, took, some, uh, this took some time here. This is a tough, tough picture to take. Fishing Graham Lovers is the one that posted this. And they, they ripped up the box. Like the box looks like it's like 400,000 years old. This little bluegill looks like he's been living there for, I don't know, three generations. Like his parents lived there and his parents' parents lived there. And I don't know how they got him to go over there and hang out in it. The water's clear. You can see the water line. Like this is one of the best pictures I have seen in a long time. I'm, kudos, 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 kudos to whoever took that picture. I like it. Uh, it is creative. I love creativity. Uh, you know, it's not always about just going out and catching fish. I do appreciate people that, um, instead of just posting a fish picture, they, they post something that like took them time to do. They take, you know, not only did they try to catch a fish or find a fish, they did some kind of creative thing that, uh, that makes it entertaining. So nice work. Love that. We'll have some winners here in just a second. I'm going to announce the winners. But right now, let's go over to the show specials. Let's go through the show specials. I know you guys look, are always looking for deals. Take 40% off all the baits in the LTV shop. Well, there you go. All you guys up north have been complaining and complaining every show I have because you're like, you're telling us about fishing and now it's still snowing up here. Oh my gosh, it's so cold, blah, blah, blah. Well, now it's, it's warm up there. I know the snow's gone, hopefully. And uh, now you can have 40% off tackle at the shop. Just use bait 40. Get geared up and catch up to us, the ones that are catching all the fish. Enter the LTV tournament and do it with your 40% off discount. Here we go. Next one. What are the promo codes we got? Take 35% off all fishing accessories in LTV shop. So that's the one I just showed you guys. Use ACC 35. Uh, one of the other ones, subscribe to any box and get a Livingston lure. This one I think is going all month long. Use the code lure deal. You see that at the bottom. Subscribe to any multi-month subscription and get a $25 gift card. Um, great little deal right there. Uh, you get some swag, get some more lures, whatever you want to go along with your new subscription. I like it. Oh, we got the Father's Day one. Let's toss that Father's Day one up. You guys, remember, even if you don't get a lucky tackle box, remember it's Father's Day coming up, okay? June 17th, and your dad, he doesn't want socks or underwear. Don't get him those socks or underwear, unless next year it'll be lucky tackle box socks and underwear. But this year, get him something different. It might as well be an LTB box. And there you go. There's the promo code you use, 15% off. Use DAD15. And make sure it's a gift. When you go sign up on Lucky Tackle Box, you have to go to the gift uh, box. If you just go to normal signing up, it's not, you won't be able to gift it to him, and then you won't be able to use that promo code either. All right, guys, so let's announce these winners. Uh, before I do so, thank you guys for watching LTB Live. We really appreciate the support. Throw the thumbs up down there if you enjoyed the show. We're going to be posting how-to videos for the rest of the next couple weeks for myself. Nick Smith, the informative fisherman, Tyler Anderson, Tyler's Real Fishing. We'll post those videos so you guys will be able to go out and catch some fish on your new baits. Hopefully, you guys will catch on that new bait I was showing you earlier, the uh, Super Razor Beetle. And 
Uh, also, we'll be posting some of those videos from Florida. If you guys want to see some crazy fishing action, you guys keep an eye out for that. Make sure you're subscribed to YouTube. All right, all right. You guys want the winners. You want the winners. I don't even want to look at the comments. I'm sure everyone's like, Travis, tell us who won. The answer, my two younger brothers, Parker and Spencer Moran, started the Chico State Bass Team. Chico, what's up, bros? Guys, Chico State, fun, fun, fun school. And uh, my brothers brought it to the bass fishing world. So Chico State, here's the three people who won. Number one, Carlos Aguirre. Carlos Aguirre. Number two, Robert Linson. Congratulations, Robert Linson. And number three, Trey Hawkins. Trey Hawkins. All of you guys won yourself a lucky tackle box. Some more bass tackle. Congratulations. Email prizes at luckytacklebox.com. Send them over your information, and we will let you know how to collect your prize. Thank you guys for watching LTV Live. I will see you right here next month on the 5th at 5.30-ish. We try to start at 5.30 sharp every month, but we just hit, we run into some hiccups. But anyway, I'll see you back here. It'll be the day after 4th of July, so we will all hopefully have been fishing all weekend, relaxing, and we'll, we'll come back to live, and we'll share our fishing stories. I'll see you next month. Till then, catch you on the fish hook. Just made that fish hook up thing. <laughs> catch you on a fish hook.